In Serbia, where I'm from, a lot of people didn't just give up. When they turned 45 or 50, it's done, that's it. Hey guys, my name is Peja, this is Avian. Welcome back to another video. Ever since I was a young kid, I always wanted to be a rapper. I don't know why the music was always a huge part of my life and that's the only thing that I saw myself doing in the future. I know that's a childish dream and not a lot of people succeed in the music industry, but that's what I always wanted to do. Now, when I started getting into high school, I did write a few things in Serbian, in my native language, and they were really bad. Like, I didn't know what I was doing. I never recorded a song in my life. I was just writing down these things that I thought were cool at the moment, but that was, that was something that in my mind I was gonna do in the future and that was the only option for me ever since I was a kid. Now my priorities have changed a bit as I grew up but I actually recorded my first song ever at the age of 24, 25, 24, 25, something like that. And once I started recording, I was looking at all these other rappers that were like blowing up at the age of 16, 17, 18. Even though I was fairly young at 24, sure, I actually felt like I was too late. And I wasn't sure like, that I missed my shot. I'm gonna need years and years to work on my craft and to get better. Since I started in 24, 25, I never saw myself getting anywhere with it until I was at least 30. And then at 30, I'm already starting to lose my hair and I wanna be a rapper and that's a young man's game. And at one point it just kind of clicked that it doesn't really matter that this one person succeeded at that at the age of 16 or 18 i can do that at 30 i can do it at 35. hell if i want to rap at 50 years old i'm gonna rap at 50. it doesn't really matter what anyone else thinks it doesn't really i don't care about the industry standard i'm just gonna do what i like doing why can't i rap at 50. i don't care if i'm bald and gray in fact hope that's not gonna happen but my hairline is kind of starting to disagree with me we'll see so i just wanted to make this video to let myself know and to let everyone else know that we're not too old to start anything ever. If you want to start a business at age of 60, go start a business. Let me just pull this. I actually just found this online a few minutes ago. Let me just pull this up and show you. Ray Kroc was over his 50th birthday when he bought the first McDonald's in 1961. And look at what McDonald's is today. Charles Darwin was 50 when he founded On the Origin of Species in 1859. I think Colonel Sanders was also like old as hell when he founded KFC. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it doesn't really matter. These examples are just that examples. And even if there aren't a lot of people that actually did that, who's to say that you can't? We can't. Now, before you jump at me in the comments, of course, there are some professions that you can do at 50. You can't join the NBA when you're 50 years old. Most of the stuff related to sports, for example, if you're 50, you probably won't be able to do it, at least not professionally. But what I saw with planning on my music career was actually you know, when I started out, I had a lot of doubts. I wasn't sure if I was any good. Will I ever be any good? Will I be, ever be good enough to compete with other rappers, with other musicians? And a lot of us do when starting something, of course, but you're just gonna push through that. My point is, I always wanted to be a part of the rap culture, the hip hop culture. And there's a million different ways of doing that. I don't have to be the next Drake. I always saw myself in that field. I could be having a TV show that talks about rap, reviewing rap songs on YouTube, having a radio station that plays rap music, interviewing rappers, being a manager to a rapper, like a tour manager, being the sound guy backstage, just whatever it is, like, and, and it always stayed in my mind that even if I wasn't any good, even if I found out that I'm not really good at rapping or I'm not talented enough, I'm still gonna be in the industry. And that is something that we can all focus on. And if you can be the NBA player, if you can start your professional NBA career at age of 50, I'm guessing you already have the love for basketball. You can still be like a coach to children. You can still, again, be a manager to one of the NBA players. You can just be in the field, like, I don't know, like make basketballs make boards make nets for the just be in the industry and that's something that you can do at any age and if you really have a passion and love for something you just need to be a part of the wheel that makes it that makes this industry thrive and i always felt like if i'm in a rap industry i am good and that's just a few examples most careers you can definitely professionally start at the age of 50 unless like i said you want to be a pro athlete anything else you can be in the center of at the age of 50, 60, doesn't really matter. In Serbia, where I'm from, a lot of people didn't just give up. When they turned 45 or 50, it's done, that's it. Like, that's the worst attitude that a person can have, in my opinion. In 2021, we are young at 50. I know I'm not 50, I'm quite younger and I can't speak for that demographic, but 
You're young. Joe Rogan is 52, 53. We live in a different time. Gary Vee spoke about this a million different times and he's the, and, and at one point he said that he still feels like a baby and he's, uh, I think, 43 or 44. I need you to understand something. You have so much time. But what blows me away is how many of you have decided that you're finished, that you're on the back end of your life, that you can't accomplish it. So instead of sitting in that job for the next 10 years, go do your thing. You've got plenty and plenty of time. So that's gonna tell you something, right? He's at the beginning. He's just at the beginning, he's just starting out. And that's how we should look at things, in my opinion. So I feel like we just need to keep on trying and put in the work and and eventually with a lot of work and sacrifice and a little bit of luck maybe, we'll be able to get to a point in our careers that we're happy with. That can happen at 65, doesn't matter. And one more thing is, if you're in it for the reward, you're not really in it for the right reasons. So if you're questioning the financial side of things, like if you wanna start a business, if you wanna jump into something right now and you're like 50 and you have a family and you have kids, maybe a grandchild, and you have a mortgage, you have a lot of expenses and you have a steady nine to five job, how can you put a, like a side hustle, a side business in there that start as a hobby? Just start as a hobby and gradually build up to a point where you can actually make profit from it and in time, maybe quit your nine to five, start pursuing that dream of yours full time. But it's a long process and we just gotta be patient and just hope that with a lot of hard work at one point, it's just gonna pay off. So that's just something that I was thinking about and I realized that if I wanna be a rapper at 50 years old, I can and will be a rapper at 50 years old. If you have a childhood dream that you just never got around to pursuing because life got in the way for whatever reason, there's always time, you're never too old, and at least try. And if we fail, if I fail, if you fail, you can at least say that you tried. And the, the, the biggest fear that I have with this rap career is not that I'm not gonna make it, is, is that I'm not gonna push enough. I'm not gonna try enough. I'm just gonna give up halfway and actually not know the outcome. It's not failing. It's not turning 50 and being like, well, okay, I tried, I really gave it my best and it just wasn't meant to be or I wasn't talented enough or whatever. No, that's not what worries me. What worries me much more is not trying or trying for a month and failing and just never picking it back up. I never wanted to be like a motivation guy and this video is starting to feel like that and it wasn't the point, it wasn't supposed to be like that. Doesn't matter how old you are, doesn't matter what you wanna do, jump in that field and just start. And start before you're ready because you gotta start before you're ready. I'm starting this YouTube channel before I'm ready, I'm recording with a phone. I have this old ass 50 year old light that's just shining at me. This is not a professional studio, this is a small room in my apartment. As it is with YouTube, as it is with music, as it is with anything else, in life, you're just gonna start before you're ready and become ready in the process. I love you all guys, thanks for watching. My name is Peja, this is Avian. Next video dropping in just a couple of days and I really do hope I'll see you there. Now whatever you're trying to do, I wish you the best and I wish you all the luck in the world and I hope you succeed one day. If you succeed, I succeed and if I succeed, you succeed because we're all just this big gear that's running this world together. That was, it's like, like making, it's like solving a Rubik's cube and it just looks extremely like, it looks like nothing is happening and all these different colors and cubes are m completely metaled out. And you know what? You got the point. This video is getting kind of cringy, so I'm just gonna stop it here.